Get ready, Virgos. This tarot reading will reveal the exciting opportunities coming your way mid-May 2024. Hey there, Virgos. Welcome back to the channel for your mid-May 2024 tarot reading. Today, we're diving deep into the cards to uncover what the universe has in store for you. So grab a seat, relax, and let's see what the tarot has to say for your mid-May. Okay. Hope all is well. Thank you for joining. So I'm going to go with this deck. Now, before we jump into the reading, let me share a fascinating fact about the Virgo Zodiac sign to just kick things off, okay? Did you know that Virgos are known for their analytical and practical nature? They're always striving for perfection in everything they do. So it's no wonder why they pay attention to the smallest details, right? That's something you may not or may have known about Virgo all of this time, right? <clears throat> okay, so we're going to, wow, moving on to the main event. This tarot reading is not just about individuals who are Virgo sun, okay? So, oh, um, it's about the collective zodiac, to be honest. The energies and insights revealed here, they can resonate with many others who may have Virgo somewhere in their birth chart. So let's get ready for a forecast that might have a ripple effect on you. If you have Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, and Cross Watchers are absolutely welcome. Okay, I see that. Uh-huh. Looks like exactly what I need. Maybe more than I need. I, I don't know. But we're going to go with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what we're going to go with. That's where spirit is taking us. So, you know, as we take a look at the cards, it's essential to address the key challenges, obstacles, or resistance that Virgos might encounter during this period, mid-May. Now, whether it's navigating relationships or career decisions or personal growth, we'll explore how the tarot can provide guidance and clarity in the face of these challenges. So what I'm seeing in your area of challenge or resistance, you have the Hierophant. <clears throat> the Hierophant with the Five of Wands and the Four of Swords. So what I'm feeling for your challenges mid-May, Virgo, you are struggling to, it feels like you're struggling to find your way, find your path. That's what I'm feeling for you. And there's an internal, <clears throat> there's an internal struggle, absolutely, with the Five of Wands and the uh, Four of Swords showing up. So what I'm feeling with this, it feels like for you, Virgo, you have not been taking the time that you need to connect to your inner wisdom. And so by not taking that time to connect to your inner wisdom, Virgo, it feels like you are struggling right now to find your path. What this looks like. This looks like Virgo, you're struggling to make a make headway, it seems, with your finances. It feels like you're struggling with past um, decisions surrounding your finances, Virgo. Excuse me. This is a time you're you're challenged to get seated in your soul's wisdom and what i'm feeling for you that struggle causes you to have internal conflict there is a lot of regret i'm feeling for you virgo with this um five of wands and the four of swords so that is a challenge that i'm i'm feeling for you right now virgo 
Let's look at and dive into the cards drawn specifically for your energies, Virgo, for mid-May 2024. Now, each card holds a unique message and symbolism that speaks to different aspects of your life from the vibrant energy of the wands to the emotional depth of the cups. We'll uncover how these cards align with Virgo's zodiac for mid-May. So your current energies, Virgo, um, specifically for you is temperance. And this is, this is absolutely vital for you. Virgo, because of your challenge to get seated in your soul's wisdom and the struggle and the regret I'm picking up for you, Virgo, um, for some of you, take it how it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, please let it fall away. But what I'm picking up for some Virgo is that challenge and that regret I'm, I'm picking up with the re regarding your finances in the recent path past. So at this point, Spirit is asking you to accept divine guidance and that divine guidance comes from your soul's wisdom. So you are being led, Virgo, at this point, mid-May 2024, you're being led by Spirit to get seated in your inner wisdom, in your soul's wisdom. So that that means taking time out, taking time out to take a rest Rest your mind. Drop the regret for a short time because I know it's easy to pick regret up so quickly. We regret so many things in our lives. But you have temperance here again. And because I have this fourth card that came out, I'm going to clarify this temperance with the Ace of Swords. Because you need to have a, you have to come to some mental clarity. You need a breakthrough. This is your current energies, Virgo. You are looking for a breakthrough. You're looking for new ideas with this Ace of Swords is what I'm picking up for some of you, right? Right. Okay. So with that clarity that you are seeking, the breakthrough that you are looking for, Virgo, you do have to accept divine guidance and you cannot accept that divine guidance until you take the time out that you need until you are able to rest and retreat and contemplate and sit with your soul's wisdom sit with your inner wisdom to get the breakthrough that you are looking for this is the challenge to get quiet the challenge for you is to get quiet. You 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 really struggle with <laughs> sitting still, right? Virgo, you have the ability to analyze and look at the smallest detail, but spirit is asking you and guiding you to a period of rest and quiet. And then the six of cups shows up in your current energies as well, Virgo. So you are seeking the divine guidance. You are seeking inner harmony. You want to reconcile your regrets and turn those regrets into lessons is what I'm feeling for, for some of you. You want to have a period of healing, right? So this is, you are absolutely being guided to take a beat, take a breath, take a rest, and learn to accept your divine guidance. And this will give you strength and power and balance and harmony and allow you to be able to cooperate with the universe for your highest good. Okay, Virgo? That's what I'm feeling. So in the midst of this reading, there's always a moment that stands out. It's a key insight or a prediction that holds significant weight. Now, this here, this here is the outcome. This is the climax. This is the pivotal point that can shape your path ahead. Okay, so let's reveal the revelations of these cards here in your outcome, Virgos, during this time. So in your outcome, you have the moon. You will find the clarity. You will get the breakthrough, Virgo. You will get on your path, so to speak. You will find that direction that you are seeking, Virgo. This is your outcome. The clarity is revealed to you through the contemplation phase, through the rest, 
through the guidance of your soul's wisdom in your outcome you have the sun with the four of pentacles and that's this is this is showing me yes you are finding the clarity you need you are coming back into harmony you are dropping the regret and understanding that it's a lesson with your finances for some of you virgo this is success for you moving forward you will find um <clears throat> You will find the good. You will find the silver lining in the lessons surrounding your financial decisions in the recent past. Okay, Virgo, that's what I'm feeling for you. This will allow you to learn from those lessons, learn the lessons to create a path forward with your finances to understand how you create a savings plan for yourself Virgo so that you can feel more financial stability and security creating that financial foundation that you want and able to manifest the financial life that you desire deeply is what I'm feeling for you Virgo absolutely the sun is definitely the sun and the moon showing up in your outcome. This is beautiful because you do you do gain the clarity that you need, Virgo, mid-May. You do gain the clarity you need that will bring you into a feeling of joy, a feeling of success, and the feeling of um, more balance, you, that balance that is needed with this temperance, that harmony that you seek internally. So this is a wonderful outcome for you, Virgo. This is a beautiful, successful, and victorious outcome for you mid-May. I really, really love this. Let me get... I want to pull an oracle card for you. So as we wrap up this reading um there are key takeaways okay that one wants to come out right let's look at some advice whether you know it's a message of self-discovery or if this is a warning or a pitfall or a glimpse of exciting opportunities well make sure you leave with a clear understanding of what the universe has in store for you mid-may virgo okay right here's the advice this is the advice from spirit right? This is a key takeaway for you, Virgo. Okay? Leap of faith. What spirit is advising you to do at this point is to have a leap of faith, to believe that you will get the outcome you desire when you take the time to rest your mind Drop the regret, see the silver lining in the lessons, and take those lessons learned to improve your financial outcome. That's the advice from Spirit. I'm feeling that this leap of faith is taking taking a leap of faith in your, uh, your own ability, taking a leap of faith in the fact that the universe cons conspires to see you win, Virgo, that the universe is here with you your angels ancestors and spirit guides are working for you through you and with you to come to your sun moment to gain that clarity to to gain the victory that you are seeking okay absolutely so there's some pisces in your reading there is some Taurus in your reading, okay? Hmm. And then Sagittarius. So these, the Pisces, Taurus, or Sag Sagittarius could be somewhere in your birth chart. So take this how it resonates. Again, the cross watchers are welcome. So that may resonate with some of them. This is absolutely pointing to taking the time to believe in yourself. Believe in yourself, Virgo. Take that leap of faith that you are able to gain clarity and wisdom and understanding from what is already within you. Have faith that your answers are already within. Take the time to connect to your soul's wisdom. Take that time to rest 
so that you can get the information, so that you can get the clarity, and so you can have the breakthrough that you desire for your financial uh, stability, for your financial future, Virgo. Okay? Lastly, I want to encourage you to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments section below. Let me know how the reading, the reading resonated with you or if you have any insights to add. Don't forget to check out other Zodiac readings on Wasted Traditions Tarot Channel for more cosmic guidance. Until next time, stay curious and keep shining, Virgos.